Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, we will discuss how to add automation to control the relay automatically using the Cynic Pro platform. Recently, Cynic Pro added these new automation features to their platform and in this video, we will learn how to add different type of automation to your IoT project. Here you can see it has lot of features. You can do a lot of things using these automation features and of course, I am using their free plan so everything is free. After watching the complete video, anyone create this type of automation to their IoT project. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is the circuit for this project. You can easily make it without using any PCB just by using a ESP32 or Node MCU, then a relay module and some push buttons. And if you want, you can also connect latch switch to control the relay manually. And for node MCU, please refer to this circuit. Here you can see push buttons are connected across the ground and respective GPIO. As you can see, you can easily make the circuit without using any PCB. But just to make the circuit compact, I have designed these PCBs for this project. This is the PCB with node MCU. You can download the GABA file from the video description. And for the ESP32, I have designed these two PCB this with the smd component and this with the true old component you can download all the gaba file from the video description then you can order it from the glc pcb in glc pcb you can also use their pcb assembly service absolutely free recently i have used their pcb assembly service after making the circuit you can easily convert the circuit into a pcb now to use their pcb assembly service you have to generate three file you have to generate the PCB GABA file, then BOM file and at last pick and place file. Then visit the JLC PCB. You can find a link in the description. Then I will click on this quote now button. Then you have to upload the GABA file. After that I will scroll down. Now I want all the components should be shouldered on the top side of the PCB. So I will select this. Now I have to upload the BOM file and pick and place file. So here you have to confirm all the component that you want to use for the SMT service. So you can see they are showing approx footprint and you will get all the details here. After checking all this, click on save to card and place the order. And in my case, I have received this PCB from JLC PCB within a week. And as you can see, the packing is really good and also the quality is very premium in this affordable price. In this video, I'm going to use this PCB. First, let me connect the ESP32 with my laptop. Now we'll quickly configure the Syndic Pro account. Now those who are already familiar with the Syndic Pro platform can skip this portion of the video and directly jump to the automation part of this video. You can find the timestamp in the description. Now let me quickly log in to Syndic Pro account. Now in the dashboard here you can see three devices already added which I have added in my last video. You can find the link in the description. To add the device you just have to go to device, click on add device give a name to this device then the short description select the device type in my case it is switch you have to select the device type according to your requirement then just click on next next to add the device here i am using their free plan so i can add maximum three device so i am going to use these three device which i have already added in my last video now in this video we will generate the code again for the push button in my last video i have shown how to generate the code for the latch switch but this time we will generate the code for the push button so let me click on the device again then i will again click on zero code then select all the device we have added after that i will select this radio button as tactile button again if you want to use latch switch then select this switch button but here i'm going to use push button so i have selected tactile button now we have to enter the GPIO according to the circuit. Then select the active low checkbox as I am using common ground for the manual control push button. Then again click on next. Then give your Wi-Fi credential and click on download. Then save it to your laptop. Here you can see you can use this code both for the ESP8266 or ESP32. And they have mentioned all the details, app key, app secret, and the related GPIO details. So we just have to modify two lines in the code. 
so in this on power state function we just have to make this state boolean variable reverse so i will just put an exclamation marks here and then again i'll make this boolean variable reverse i'll just put an exclamation marks before that state variable then we have to do another quick change in the setup relay function we just have to add one line to make the relay in off condition while we restart the microcontroller so after the pin mode function i'm just writing digital right then the relay pin then high so that the relay will remain off during we restart the microcontroller now let me go to tools select the microcontroller and port then hit the upload button after uploading the code here you can see all the devices are online and you can able to control the device from this dashboard you can also connect google home or amazon alexa to control the device now we will add some automation to control the relay automatically so let me go to the automation tab then click on add automation give a name to this automation say automation one you can give any name then you have to enter a short description let me give it auto on off you can give any description then click on next now you have to configure the flow in the starter you have to enter some trigger when this automation will start then if you want you can also define condition it is optional then if the condition are met what action will be taken you have to define it here so first we will try to control the outdoor light at a specific time so i will select at a specific time and drag and drop it as starter then click on the configure button then enter a time currently it is 1916 i am selecting 1920 so at 7 20 pm the light should turn on and then i will select the repeat every i will select all the day of the week let me save it then we will set the condition i want to turn it on if the outdoor light is off so i will just drag and drop the outdoor light then click on configure select this radio button and make it off so if it is in off mode then we will try to turn it on then again i will drag and drop the outdoor light click on configure i will select on this time to make it turn on this is the action so if the outdoor light is off then we will turn it on at this specific time then we will enter some time delay i will just drag and drop this time delay then configure it you can select minutes per second i am keeping it 30 seconds you can select any time according to your choice then click on save and after 30 seconds i want this outdoor light to turn off so again i will drag and drop the outdoor light then click on configure select the radio button and make it off so after 30 seconds the outdoor light will be turned off now let me save it so currently it is 19:18. you can see the time here so we have to wait for two minutes the first relay should turn on at 7 20 pm here you can see at 7 20 the first relay is on and after 30 seconds the relay will automatically turn off as per the automation we have defined in the Synric Pro. So here you can see the relay automatically turn off after 30 seconds. Now we will quickly add another automation for the room light. So let me click on add automation. Give a name. I am giving automation 2. Then I am giving the description time delay. You can give any other description. Click on next. Now with this automation, if I turn on the room light, it should remain turned on for a particular time and after a time delay, the room light should automatically turn off. So for that, I will just drag and drop the room light as I want to define the automation for the room light. Then click on configure, then select on or off radio button and here I will select on. Then check this for check button. Select a particular time, say 30 second. Select second here. So in a trigger, I'm defining like that. If the room light is on for 30 second, this is the trigger. So if the room light is on for 30 second, I want the room light to turn off. So I will again drag and drop the room light in the action. I will not put any condition here. 
in this automation then i will click on configure here so after 30 second i want the room light to turn off so i am selecting off in the action to take now let me save it so if i turn on the room light it will remain on for the 30 second after that it will automatically turn off now i will save it then i will go to dashboard let me turn on the room light from this dashboard you can see the second relay turn on now it will automatically turn off after 30 seconds so in this way you can define any automation as per your requirement here you can see the relay automatically turn off and you can also connect the Cindric Pro with Amazon Alexa and Google Home I have explained the process in my previous video you can find the link in the description so here you can see I can able to control the relay from the Amazon Alexa app now let me go to Google Home and from here let me turn off the relay one by one so this is a very useful iot platform and now you can also define automation in cynic pro and after watching the video i think you can easily define any kind of automation using cynic pro so here i have used their free plan so you don't have to pay anything and you can make the circuit without using any pcb if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day